Hi, I'm Becky from Quilty Pleasures. And we have noticed a lot of people are sewing masks and they really don't know that you have to clean your machines afterwards. And with all the masks we're sewing, our machines are getting dirtier faster. So I'm gonna do a quick video on how to clean your sewing machine. And this one I have is a drop down in bobbin that loads from the top. So what you're going to do, and I suggest you get a little tray to put your um, screws in because you don't want to lose your screws down your machine, especially at this time because a lot of the sewing machine stores are not open to service your machine. So this machine has done about 25 masks. And I've been cleaning my machine every single morning. So let's see what's in here. And this is a baby lock machine. And baby lock and brothers, they have a plastic piece and a metal piece, and you need to separate the two of them. So if we look in here, yeah, I'm pretty messy. So I'm gonna take out my bobbin shuttle and I'm gonna clean it first. There's a lot of dirt in here. And everybody thinks, oh, where'd this come from? It came from your cotton fabric and your thread. And it's just a natural thing, it's gonna do this. And if you see, there's quite a bit in here. And this only did about, I'd say about 15 masks. So I'm going to put a little pile here and you're going to see everything that comes out of it. Oh, look at that one. And I use a really old inch, half inch paintbrush because the fibers on it are, can really catch all the fuzzies. And you want to advance your machine a little bit so you're getting all the way around it. See, there's more fuzzies. That's why you want to advance your machine. So it gets all the fuzzies out. So that's, like I said, about 15 to 20 masks. That's a lot of fuzz. And I'm going to put this over here. A baby lock and a brother machine go together a little bit different than the genomes that are drop-in bobbins in that you have to put does help with the needles up you have to put your metal plate in first and you have to tighten it down first if you do not what's going to happen is, is you're going to get tension problems and please disregard my ugly nails I usually have pretty ones on but with everything that's going on it's not great to wear acrylic nails at this point. So I'm going to tighten this down. It doesn't have to be super tight, just finger tight. If you get it too tight, then it's very, very hard to um, loosen them up the next time. And this is very hard. My camera person here is trying so hard to get everything. Now this does not take the place of having your machine serviced once a year. This is to keep all that lint out so it doesn't ruin your machine. And also I was taught use a good quality sewing machine oil. This is called Zoom Spot Oil. And you just put a dot 
right here on this rim. Come on. It's all you need. And the reason you put that in there is because you have the plastic and the metal rubbing up against each other. And then you drop in your case and then you put your plastic. So now your machine is clean. The other thing I want to talk about is you need to change your needle. What I suggest is a good sharp 9014, especially if you're doing masks. I use a 9014 with everything. And I've been changing my needle every other day. I know that seems like a lot, but this little hole eye in your needle will start to wear. And if your thread is breaking, that is why, because your needle is worn out. So I always change my needle. What I usually do is I use my fingernail to push up to make sure it's all the way up and then tighten it. And you want to tighten this good because if it's too loose it's going to come out so now you have a nice clean machine on the inside and if you want to give it a little extra spa and tell her you've been a good girl in making masks i just take and dust her off that is cleaning your machines 101 bye bye you guys stay safe, and I miss seeing you here. Hope to see you soon.